This is Frankie Ward. You are watching Intel's roving reporter, and I'm delighted to be joined by John Gibson, the CEO of Tripwire. And last time we met John, I was dressed as a shark. You were. It's, it's so weird to see you not dressed as a shark. I, I kind of picture you, the, you that way now. Yeah, I apologize. I'm in my civilian clothes. But there's such a fantastic reception to Maneater. It's been growing. It's Everyone's so enthusiastic and, and can't wait to get their hands on the game. But there might be some people who don't know what to expect. So please tell them what this Shark PG is all about. Yes, so Maneater is an open world action RPG, or as we call it, a Shark PG, where you start as a baby shark and then you you eat your way up the food chain, you grow and evolve till you are able to take on a climactic battle with uh, the evil shark hunter that disfigured you as a baby. And you took this project in-house. It was originally developed by an independent studio and you were publishing it, yes. but then you took it on board. So how have Intel managed to help you scale up the jet game? So Intel have been really great uh, to work with. Uh, they're, they're testing our games, seeing how they work on their hardware, and their, their higher end, like their i9 processors, have really allowed us to push the physics. You know, we talked a little bit earlier about the floppy fish physics, and to push physics and effects to a, an all new level. Now, what kind of hardware are you going to need as a user to be able to see those open worlds effectively and really enjoy them? Um, I would say, you know, a really good graphics card, uh, a high end, some of the newer i9 or i7 processors uh, will really get the best out of the game. Fantastic. And when are we finally going to be able to try out those floppy fish physics for ourselves? Well, we're not ready to announce the date yet, but we're telling everybody you'll be able to play it before next year's E3. Fantastic. Thank you so much, John. And good luck with it. Are we doing a handshake? We're doing a handshake.